web training, we're going to discuss the weather service and the outside air conditions being used for a control system. Um, in this system here today, we have several outside air temperatures, so it's a good it's a good representation of how most systems are used. Um, all of these network managers, JACE controllers, EC bosses, that the main hosting uh, controller for your system has access to outside air conditions from the National Weather Service. Uh, and this can be set up through your IT department. All it requires is, a, is, is the ability to get an outside connection. Once it has that outside connection, it will uh, attach itself and look at that weather service and will pull that information into the temperature control system. I'm going to show you right here. All you have to do is click on the weather button. And this is the current weather conditions that we are broadcasting throughout our control system. Uh, so it gives you temperature, humidity, wind direction on down the list. Uh, we can use these for snow melt. We can use these for morning warm up. Uh, there, it's actually pretty useful most of the time. And then we also have forecasted weather, so we can figure out in some cases with buildings with a little bit less than ideal uh, cooling loading or heating loading, um, we can predictively bring a building up to temperature or not let it go unoccupied, uh, something like that to try and eliminate some of those types of problems. Um, and then this is just a graphical representation of what you were just seeing. What I really want to show though is on the wire sheet on every Woodman control system, especially the newer ones, there's a folder for outside air conditions. And in there we bring all the outside air sensors into one location and then broadcast them out to the whole system. So as you can see on the outside air to input, uh, down here on this bottom screen right here, you should see pop across right here the actual path from where it's coming through. So right there, the first thing we're looking at is a makeup air unit outside air temperature. And then we're looking at Air Handler 1's outside air temperature. And then there, that one's coming from the weather service, uh, the current outside air temperature there. So since we're hooked up in these have sets, this block has a set of 16 inputs. Uh, and this is for all tritium, BACnet, almost all these types of systems have hierarchical uh, inputs coming into them. If any one of those points goes offline, that block will start to ignore it and roll to the next available, uh, next available uh, accurate sensor reading. So if input 10, let's say our makeup air unit, someone goes up to use that unit uh, or to go up and service that unit, so they throw the disconnect on it, it kills the power to the control system this will turn yellow and turn offline and it'll roll over and start using input 14 so you'll start to display an output of 70.8 degrees which gets fed into our system and then this block here labeled as outside air temp and below it outside air humidity these are all the values that get broadcast out to every controller in the system so we're able to we're able to predictively and preemptively make the correct outside air assumptions uh, for the building without even knowing which one is on or offline. And then finally the last one is the outside air, the weather service. Um, in this case, usually we have that as being one of the top levels. In this case, they wanted to use uh, their local sensors there on site, so that is the last worst case scenario. If they lost two of the controllers, they lost air handler one and the makeup air unit, then it would use this sensor uh, and 72 degrees is what would be broadcast out to everybody. If you have any questions about how the weather service works or how it can be implemented on your system, please contact Woodman Controls. Thank you.